What's up guys, I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I've made a video, but today I'm bringing you an update on my main uh, weapon system. This is my, well, new to me, but this is my 07 slash 2014 Sistema PTW Hybrid. Um, so what makes it a hybrid is it's an 07 lower with a 2014 upper. I'll explain all the pieces and parts uh, as we go along in this video. Uh, internally, it's fully stock. Um, the electronics are the same electronics that came in it just about 10 years ago. Uh, the motor is still the stock 480 motor. Um, I'm running a Sistema Gold cylinder, which is shooting about 350 with a 0.25 gram BB, which is perfect for ops, which is pretty much where I'll be using this. Um, it's got, like I said, the 2014 upper with the 07 lower. The 07 lower, as you can see, is traded M16A2. That's because this was an M16, so that means it had the 20 inch barrel with the full stock, but it was converted to an M4 by the previous owner. Uh, I've got the max buffer tube, the silver buffer tube made by Sistema in the back, uh, and on that is the Sistema crane stock. Uh, in that crane stock, I generally run uh, my 11.1 volt LiPo batteries. Uh, I would like to get into the Sistema 9.6 volt batteries only because, if you didn't know, the 11 ones tend to wear uh, the PTWs unnecessarily quick, where the 9.6s don't cause as much stress to the internals. Um, moving a little bit forward to that, I've got my ASAP plate made by Magpul as my rear sling plate. I have the Sistema OEM blue grip which comes on their military slash law enforcement rifles. Uh, in front of that, we have the stock trigger guard, stock trigger. Um, the magazines that I'm running in this gun are a mix between the Sistema OEM metal mid caps, their steel mid caps, and the PTS uh, P mags for PTWs. Uh, like I said, I have the Sistema gold cylinder in there. Uh, for the barrel and hop up, I'm running an FCC barrel, uh, sorry, FCC hop up with Sistema barrel. That is the 10 and a half inch inner barrel. And uh, other than that, the hop up is stock besides the FCC swap. Uh, so yeah, up top you can see my optic is the Hollow Sun. Uh, this is the HS503C. And that means it has the two MOA dot as well as the 65 MOA circle. So it has an EOTech reticle with the profile of a T1. Uh, fantastic optic so far. I like it a lot. Very durable, great on battery life, uh, and the price point is really good for that mid-level uh, optic. In front of that, I am running the Magpul um, sling loop. I believe it's the RSAP, uh, the railed sling adapter plate, something like that. Uh, the rail system that is run that I am running on this gun is the URX4 made by Madbull, licensed by Knight's Armament. Um, it's a very low profile, very lightweight, simple rail system. The barrel nut's built into it, so there's no um, separate piece. There's no way it could really loosen on itself. So I like that a lot. And also the key mod, uh, it keeps a lower profile and the weight down. On the rail, the top part, you can see I am running a GMP D-Ball IR slash Viz Laser. Um, I like the D-Ball for the fact that it's a adjustable like not all fake pecs or fake lasers will actually adjust but this you can adjust and zero so I can have it zero to my optic so if I'm running uh, say night vision the IR laser will be on point to where the gun's shooting and in the daytime I can mark targets and buildings with the visible laser um, on the rails I'm running the Bravo company uh, slick rail panels, the uh, key mod rail covers. Uh, for my grip, I am running the VCM uh, angled grip. I believe it's their gunfighter grip. Uh, so for my light system, I am using a real Insight M3X with the LED kit as well as the uh, push button tail cap. And as you can see, I have my pressure pad mounted on the top of the rail so I can activate my light when I uh, reach over the rail to almost C-clamp the gun. It's a very comfortable um, 
way of having your pressure pad, especially because this way you can use it um, on both sides, both hands, without having to manipulate your grip on the rifle. You can have the same grip in your left hand and in your right hand. Um, for the can, I am running the uh, Angry Gun um, Surefire SOCOM 556 suppressor and FDE. As you can see, I have a black and FDE two-tone kind of thing going on here. Um, and yeah, that's the DITAC 11-inch barrel that that's on because it's a 10-inch rail system. It's configured in the CQBR. Um, and yeah, that's about it. It's a, a few things I forgot to show you on this side of the gun, which is the left side. I have a Knight's Armament Real Steel Big Button Mag Release and the way that my M3X is offset, which is using a standard key mod Picatinny attachment point put at a 45 degree angle. A fairly simple build. Um, I really like it so far. Everything seems to be working nicely. And uh, yeah, I hope to maybe update it in a little bit and give you guys the uh, update on that. So sorry for uh, being away for so long. There were some complications with my job and uh, pretty much just life in general got in the way. But hopefully I'll be able to start making videos a little bit more. I'm aiming to do maybe two to three a month. Uh, if there's more things to update you on and more gameplay, then obviously the videos will increase by then. Uh, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you like the video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, do all that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.